Yeah, as you have seen, we got uh, the course error on the front end side, and that means that we need to uh, add Django course headers and uh, update the settings and allow. Uh, I'm going to allow all uh, because I don't want to bother with uh, the settings anymore. Uh, that's why let's just quickly install uh, Django course headers into our. Yeah. Um, pip install Django course headers headers of course let's just uh, yeah um, pip pip phrase uh, requirements requirements dot txt uh, let's see if it's added or not yes course headers and let's just quickly read uh, uh, read the documentation here so they say that we need to add it to the course headers uh, installed apps. That means we need to go to the config settings uh, where the installed apps here. Also, uh, we need to add the middleware. So this, yeah, common middleware, course middleware, or the middle common middleware, course middleware is going to be here and um <laughs> and then 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 a uh, course allow origins to be equal to to all that means to to be equal to two let's just quickly fire up our run server nice and let's just go back to our front end and let's check if if it will work for uh, now or not and i'm going to sign up uh something happened uh, internal server error from the back inside nice uh, let's just quickly see again this user's username uh, error with uh, our Oh gosh, oh, with our uh, database site, I don't know why we why we get those errors. Okay, let's just mm, run mic migrations, mic migrations. All nothing changed. I'm going to remove this. Oops, uh, remove this light and this migrations folder I'm going to explicitly create uh, the users migrations and then uh, migrate uh, nice and then uh, once again I'm going to check uh, network error no, 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 we have, what happened? Response headers. Um, mm -hmm. uh, nice, we didn't fire up our uh, development server. Let's just quickly check. Again, sign up. Oops, it should, ah, nice. We are able to sign up uh, with our uh, users so let's just console it and this is uh, where uh, what is uh, returned from the back inside I'm scrolling it uh, we can zoom in it and uh, the data is uh, the first name a uh, last name email and uh, 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 sent uh, but returned uh, like as mm -hmm. it's created right uh, the status uh, is uh, created that means that um in fact uh, the user is uh, created so let's just quickly check it um if we can log in um log in with uh, that a user mm -hmm. something wrong something wrong something wrong ah the correct email passwords for a staff account. Ah, this is a for staff account. Um, my bad, my bad. So I need to create uh, the super user as I have uh, 
smashed out my uh, my uh, uh, my user. So where is um, it's a when bin activate? There is no. Oh gosh. Um, yeah, source source when bin activate and go through the backend it should be managed by this manage manage by um create super user this is my email mm -hmm. and this is um yeah what was the password i i'm going to set the password Uh, again, this unique constraint error for users username, like preventing me doing the, the stuff. Uh, let me just fix it at all and come back here. Mm, but still, uh, I'm pretty sure that we were able to register from the um, uh, from the front end side. Yeah, see you in the next video where uh, all stuff will be fixed and we are going to implement uh, the login view and do the login integration with the front end side. Bye.